Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Back from my travels here in DC, and ready to jump into the uh, Wednesday, July 27th, 2022 mini. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Map, boxy maybe, pose, park, TDs, polo. Look alive out there. All right. Map, polo, taxis. They have meters and motors. That's cute. It's just differ by the two vowels there. We have park and drive. Got sort of a car theme today somehow. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Enrique Henestroza Anguiano today. Here's your spoiler alert if you'd like to play along. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's uh, let's see what Enrique and Henestrosa Angueno has in store for us. Let's get into it. Shoulder muscles. Delts, maybe? Small child. Oh, traps, I guess. Biochemistry is RNA. Pinpoint ATM. Snack item on a stick. Popsicle. And actress Sissy Spacek. Villainous person. Okay, let's go back up here. Spider-Man slings them. I guess it's webs. Represent as a designer. Wear. Sharp but appealing quality. A lawn. Twitter icon is a bird. Command to Fido. Stay. So that's correct copy is to edit. Taj Mahal's lo locale is Agra, so this is Edge Edge. Cowardly person is a scaredy cat? No? Bonfire residue is ash. Right, let's go back here. Called off and site of the 1998 Winter Olympics. That was Nagano. Like some markets, non-Jewish, Gentile. And long and perilous journey. Imitated is aped, millennials, Gen Z, Gen Y. Odyssey here. No go. Scaredy. Oh, it's going to be an add a letter theme, I think. Broadway star Lup Lupone. Don't know it. Washington and Lincoln has one eye on the TV. I guess it's CBS. Similar kind. Ilk. Yes, yeah, cities there. What Lao Tzu says is hidden but always present. That's Tao. That's black hat there. Skull. Abbreviation before a name on an envelope. Attention. Have some. Try it. Gloss after melting is O. We've got two French themes cr words crossing there. French for stars Etoile. So see Daisy Ridley's Roll is Ray, and this is an open air market. Anais Nin is a diarist. Scare scaredy cants, I guess. Meaty bone for a dog. Treat. Shantamomo. Biblical son of Rebecca. Esau. Ineffectual person is an empty suit. That's nice. British political VIPs are PMs. Right. Omnia Vincent Amor. Love conquers all. Traitorous person. Votes in. Elects, recurring patterns and motif, pompous person. Shop with aromas, Mount Sinai Hospital, traditional garment in West Africa. Is it caftan? Working hard to be at it. Heartfelt, genuine. Open to the thigh as an evening gown. Slitted, yeah, MSG there. The Knicks Arena, Madison Square Garden. Might come in a bottle as a message. Anonymous last name could be Bro or Doe. Day to be aware of are the Ides. Time's running out, sign is TikTok. Put a ring on it. Traitor's person. Turncoat. Fictional world entered through a wardrobe is Narnia. Akira Kurosawa. Clean Air Act Org is the EPA. Freeze over is Ice Up. South is Sur. And like the Valkyries are Norse. And this is Kaftan. Pompous person. Working on glass, perhaps. Be bold enough to dare. Roll call response here. Egg on purple something. Bite at a Spanish bar's tapa. Silly known as Queen of Salsa. I don't know it. Put a ring on it. Earring. Okay, bakery here. Box score says RBI. Stuffed shirt. Purple haze. Etch and spur. Okay. 
scaredy pants. Okay. I thought this was an add a letter theme, but in the end it wasn't. It's a, um, clothing theme. Kinds of people that are referred to as adjective clothing. Pant, scaredy pants. Black hat. Empty suit. Turn coat. Stuffed shirt. We've got two... Oh no. I think we have two traitors people, but we don't. Yeah. Scaredy pants. How, how legitimate is scaredy pants? Just doesn't ring that true to me, but... Whoops. Scaredy pants. 72,000 results. Mostly Spongebob episodes. It is in the Wiktionary, isn't it? A coward. Anagrams to Sandy Carpets, interesting. Okay, if, if you look at Scaredy Pants, there's 72,000 results. Scaredy Cats, 471,000, and Scaredy Cat, 1.9 million. So I don't know how much I really buy Scaredy Pants. The rest I buy, although I don't actually know the expression stuffed shirt. <laughs> Conservative, pompous person. See, this one has a Google Dictionary hit. As will, as will empty suit, for example. Prominent person regarded as lacking substance, personality, or ability. Yeah. Also, again, I like to say stuff like this. In an ideal world, like, hat would be on top, pants would be on the bottom, but because of the lengths, you can't actually do that. But it's nice that they're all different articles of clothing, so, but if you put them all on, you'd be wearing two pairs of pants, I guess. You could put on a hat and pants and a shirt and a coat, but if you put a suit on as well. I wonder, I wonder how many other expressions there are where a piece of clothing is a, is a metonym for the person. That's really what this is, right? This is a clothing metonymy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's take a look through this thing. It's for the trapezius muscles. Didn't know that Tampa was near Clearwater, but Gen Y, that's my generation. Nice little misdirect here. A lot of things are named after Washington and after Lincoln, but certainly Lincoln, Nebraska, and Washington, D.C. at least. Nice, and then you need to know both her first and her last name for crosswords. Yeah, this, I guess... Um... It's a little bit mean because it's two French words crossing. But I guess O is well known. Etoile maybe less so. Yeah, seems like a potential trouble spot. Especially since the clue for this one is also... It requires you to know French. Like, gloss means ice. I like skull. I like the K. I don't know how easy this is if you didn't spend much time in New York. I don't know. Seems like people know about Mount Sinai, right? Gina Rollins and Celia Cruz. Celia Cruz does appear in crosswords pretty often. But I always forget. I'll try to remember. You know, I would go Penelope Cruz and Akira Kurosawa, director of things like Rashomon and Seven Samurai. Shout out to PB Geckner, who um, now knows who Akira is. Sissy Spacek. What is Sissy Spacek again? Many things. Let's see. Does she have any... Oh, she has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 
Oh, she has an Academy Award, three Golden Globes, a SAG Award, four BAFTAs, three Emmys, and a Grammy. What is her Academy Award for? Coal Miner's Daughter, a movie I've not seen. Oh, wait, no. Four BAFTA nominations. Not for BAFTA wins. Yeah, I was reading some nominations here. Yeah, Space so was nominated. I, I was actually reading this page, right? Anyway. Not gonna know. I do know where the Olympics were held in my lifetime, and the Summer Olympics before... I think I know the Summer Olympics going back to the 1896, but don't test me on it. Yeah, Patty Lupone. Who is Patty Lupone? Broadway star. What roles is Patty Lupone famous for? Reno Sweeney and Anything Goes. Norma Desmond in the original Sunset Boulevard. Mrs. Lovett in the 2005 production of Sweeney Todd. Lucia in Woman on the Verge of a Ner Nervous Breakdown. Okay, so Broadway star, but I don't, I don't know who she is. Yeah, PMs. I guess that's just prime ministers. MPs are members of parliament. I do like TikTok. Not the app, actually. Just the uh, onomatopoeia. I see that Z there, Hayes and Cruz. REI, SOAR, and EPA. That's truly a crossword easy way to end the crossword. Um, yeah, other than this not being sure about scaredy pants. Interesting theme. Interesting theme. Is this... What, is, what does Rachel Fobby say about it? I wonder if... Featured five articles of metaphorical clothing that you should probably get rid of already. Oh, interesting. They're all names for types of people that you might also wish to part with. Okay, I kinda I kinda lost the fact that um all of these are kinda negative. You don't want to be any of these things. So that adds something to the theme, I guess. Anyway, that'll be um pretty normal for a Wednesday. I did the uh, Monday and Tuesday on my phone, but I'm not that much fast faster on the computer than the phone, so. I really like yesterday's puzzle. Uh the eggs. Pretty normal time for a Wednesday though. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we've got Jay, consistently under one minute these days. Big shout out to you, Jay. I think Jay's in Hawaii. So hopefully you're enjoying your time out in Hawaii. On Secretly Aboard, we've got Kimball in 22 and Hoopla in 25, quite fast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.